So we've got our sidewalls, we've got our throat string in. Now is when I'm gonna go back and finish my transitioning top. So you can see the black starts on this side, the gray starts on this side. In the center, they're gonna swap so it looks like the, the strings transition, hence transitioning top, top string. You can see one of the pillars right on my finger, right here. And I'm gonna stay in the fold. I'm gonna take my black string, I'm gonna go up on one side of it, staying on the front of the head, pulling it through. And then my gray string, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna stay on the other side of that pillar, making sure I stay on the front of the head and pull my slack through. So when I pull it tight, you'll see that I'm really, I'm pulling that pillar really nice and tight up towards, up towards um, the icon on the top of the scoop. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna string one side of the triangle first. So I'm gonna go make sure I go up on the inside of the head, in through one side of our interlock here. And again, I'm gonna do it the same on this side, just for this first knot to make sure that this first one is even, and then it'll, it'll just equate that the other ones will be even because this one is locked down. If you can see, it's in between the mesh and the string. I'm not going, on, I'm not going underneath the black string, I'm going in between the mesh and that black string. There's a little space in between this piece of the mesh right here and the string, there's a little gap. Sometimes you might need um, a pair of pliers, but if you get a, a good solid tip when tipping the strings, you can just slide it through. And as I pull the string out, you'll see that it wraps around the bottom of the knot. And right, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not gonna pull any tension out of it because I wanna make sure that this side is equal. There's a couple different ways of doing this. This is just how I do it. So instead of, if I were to pull this string nice and tight, you can see how this gray string is on the bottom of that black string, and I don't want that. All right, when I pull really hard, it pulls kind of an awkward tension on the back of the pocket, on the back of the top string, and on the front. So what I wanna make sure, pull a little bit slack out. What I wanna make sure is that my gray string lies on top of the black string when I do this. So what I'll do, I'll pull a little slack out. I'll pull some tension on this gray mesh, fold it up, and then I'll pinch it with my other hand so I can let go. And as I pull the slack out, you'll see that when I start tensioning it, it's gonna slide down and hit right on top of that black string, like that. And then when I pull it tight, it's gonna pull that whole knot towards the back of the head. I'll see if I can get that in there. So if I, I, again, I can the string in my hand, I use my thumb, and you'll see as I pull tension on it, it almost looks like that black string disappears, and it's kind of an optical illusion. Now, I don't want to just finish this one side, because you'll see this side isn't as tight. So I've got everything tightened down. I'm going to pinch that with my finger, flip the head over, and then go back through the top string hole. If I were to leave it just like that, that's not good, right? Because if I flip it over, you can see that the gray string goes in, and then there should be two black, and then the gray goes out. Well, right now, this gray is sitting on top of my black string. I don't want that. So I gotta can the string in my hands, hold the head, and I'm gonna pull tension. Yeah. I'm gonna pull tension out of it using my finger to try and slide that knot over to the center so that when I pull it back, everything is nice and centered. Woven it through for that pillar. And again, I'm gonna try and pull this pillar up almost to this top string hole 
when I then make my triangle. And I'm good. And then I can feed this one through. And the reason, the other reason why, on the pattern, I go through the second sidewall hole. I don't have to try and jam another string in through a double loop already. So again, can it, take all the slack out, make sure everything's even, I'm good. Time a knot. There we go, on to the other side.